What's up, YouTube? It's Mike with Thousand Reptiles. This is vlog 10. Uh, so I've been trying to come up with some new ideas, and I got a lot of different ideas. In today's vlog, I'm going to show you the boas. I'm starting to pair some of them up. I'm going to I cleaned everybody, put the males in, and you'll see that there's already one that went to the bathroom. A little uh, looks like a urate, but uh, I think everything else is good. Um, so I'm going to show you those. I have a Gulf Coast box turtle with egg hatching. I'm going to show you that. Um, and then just some future updates. I'm going to do a... Um, eventually do a holdback video of a bunch of the things that I already know I'm going to hold back uh, and then maybe some possible holdbacks and then I'm also going to do a video on a bunch of the new things that I've got in i got a bunch of animals that are just about almost done with quarantine uh, if you follow me on Instagram and Facebook you saw that I am getting some really cool stuff from Justin Kabolka soon so I'm going to probably do an unboxing video of the stuff I get from him so that's just some updates what's coming in the future again keep commenting below letting me know what you want to see, give me ideas of what I can do. I know someone asked to see Pides and Clowns. I'll do. Uh, I'll eventually do an episode where I show all the Pides and Clowns. So I'm going to try to get all that stuff in there. All right, so come on over here. Uh, we're going to start with the biggest girls. Oh, actually, for that matter, I moved all of the females into this rack. I have the two Womas in here. Um, and again, if you follow me, my female Woma did ovulate finally. She uh, should shed any day, and then I'll get eggs, I think, 30 days after the prelay shed. So hopefully I get good eggs from her. But everything else over here is sub-adult or adult boa constrictor. I did sell all the bloods. I'm, I have no bloods right now. Maybe in the future I'll get back into them. But right now I'm out of the bloods. This rack over here actually only has three snakes in it right now. And this is the um, adult males uh, boa constrictors. Eventually I'll add some of the other grow up females. Maybe some Columbian rainbow boa females. Things like that over here. But anyhow, over here, I'm going to show you the first one, which went to the bathroom, so excuse that. Um, we have in here, that is a big jungle female. She's actually in shed. And that is an IMG 100% het VPI T positive male. So that's one pairing I'm doing this year. And I literally cleaned everybody yesterday, and then I cleaned three snakes this morning that pooped since yesterday, and this already happened once I put the males in. So she's in shed, and this is the first time I put him in with her. And I literally put him in less than an hour ago, so I'm not expecting much. But I figured I'd show you the pairs. Now this next one, the male is always hungry and always trying to come out, so I'm going to have my stick handy. This here is my um, big cow albino female. Has this nice stripe going down her backside. And then this is a leopard albino male from Tom Burke. I've been trying to get this pair to happen for, this has been my third season in a row. He breeds her every year. She never goes for me. I'm really hoping this year I can get something from her. Stay in there, bud. Um, so we'll see what happens. Oops, stay in there, buddy. All right. Um, this is a girl who went this year, my leopard female. My plan is to give her the year off. This here is a hypo, possible super hypo, possible het leopard and possible het um, cal albino and also a possible jungle. So a lot going on with her. She's in there with my motley 100% het leopard male. I'm hoping to prove her out as both jungle and 100% uh, het um, leopard and hit on hypo leopards, maybe some hypo jungle leopards. Sorry. Um, he is in deep shed right now as well, so I don't expect much coming from that. Uh, up here, this is a really fun one. And they actually have already locked up once this year. So the male who's back here is a Hypo Hog Island 100% Het Blood. And he's sitting with a blood female. Um, I put them together randomly a month or so ago, and they locked up uh, almost immediately. And then every time since then uh, that they put together, nothing happened. He looks like he's already checking her out at least a little bit. I'm really happy about this pair. I want to see some really red boas. And I have a lot of chances here with the hypo, the hog island, and the blood. This girl here is another girl getting the year off. This girl here is a hypo, possible jungle. Um, she was possible het for a couple things, but I bred her to a male that was also possible het, and I got none. 
Nothing that was those hats. I don't think she's actually hat for anything. I'm going to give her the year off. So the next two are higher up. So I'm going to take over the camera. And I'm going to cut real quick. So this here is a 100% um, Het Jabowski line Super Stripe female. Who I did just get a male from. Or a male for this year. And I'm hoping the male's ready in a year or so. Because I think she'll be ready in a year or so. And this girl. Oh, she's hiding. Let me see if I can't get her. That is a Motley 100% 100% Het for VPIT positive female and she will go in a year or so when she's ready with the um, with the IMG 100% Het VPIT positive male so I have here a Gulf Coast box throw leg hatching we were late on August 3rd it's October 11th unfortunately I messed up all my eastern box throw legs this year incubating them wrong these two guys I was able to switch or these two eggs I was able to switch to a better method and as you can see right there the first one's hatching out I hope that this other egg hatches it still looks good so hopefully it hatches it's very cool all right so you saw just a little bit ago him coming out of the egg or she he whatever it is he is completely out now this is a Gulf Coast box turtle, baby. And he is a lot of energy. See, his yolk is almost fully absorbed. I'm going to let him sit in the uh, in here in the incubator container for another day or so before moving him. But, uh, cute little thing. I love his face. Look at the white on his chin already. Hopefully it stays. I love the white-faced ones. All right, so again, uh, baby Gulf Coast box throw is out of the egg. I'll leave him in here for another day or so. The other egg, I actually see a very small uh, egg tooth must have broke through right there. So this one might hatch in the next day or so. I'm going to put it back in there. Um, this is my first time hatching Gulf Coast box turtles. I'm really excited about these guys. I really like these guys. Um, and, uh, yeah, I'll keep you guys updated on how, we go, how, uh, how it turns out. All right, so this week's vlog might have been a little bit shorter than normal. I was sick this week. I had strep throat for a couple of days earlier in the week. So I wanted to be able to get a vlog out. I thought the uh, update on the bow constrictors and just a little bit about what I'm going to be doing in the next few vlogs would be good. Um, again, comment below. Let me know what you guys want to see. Um, let me know what you guys think of what my pairings are and everything else. And, uh, yeah, like I said, uh, I should have some cool vlogs coming in the next few weeks. All right, Osmond Reptiles out.